r slash ask reddit, what's a mild inconvenience that drives you ducking crazy? When you can plug something into a power strip because the plugs are too big and the outlets are too close together. When you can't back your furniture against the wall because it will smash the cord that is plugged in. My car has 3 windshield wiper speeds, super fast, super duper fast, and turbo. I hate using them when it's a bit more than a sprinkling of rain because then the wipers just wipe at nothing. I love automatic wipers that do this. Me. Oh. There's a sprinkle of rain. Wipers. Dot. Me. More rain. Uh, it's getting hard to see. Wipers. Dot. Me. Hit am I seriously gonna have to turn these on manually? What the f? Wipers. Feast upon my whirling blades of death. Evil aqueous waste. Me. Uck. Wipers. Yawns are. T was a hard one battle. Me. Dude it's still raining. Wipers. Oh yes. Victory. Me. Hey. Hey wipers. Hey. Wipers. Blissful sigh. When you have a stuffed nose and trying to sleep and need to consciously breath. OP said mild inconveniences. Not hell on earth. Dropping your keys trying to open the door. It always happens at the worst possible times. Like when you got a piss real bad. Or your hands are full with bags. Or when someone's trying to murder you. I hate it when that happens. Clicking on a button. Except that the button jumps just as you're clicking and you get the wrong button. This happens often when an app opens a new window and it takes time to fill up all the contents. Edit. The one I see every day at work is my web conferencing app. I want to share a spreadsheet with the other people in the meeting. But then it jumps and I share it instead. Facebook is good at this. I'll see there are 12 more comments so I click to see the comments. Now there are something like 7 more comments so I click again to read comments. Now there's one more comment. Really Facebook? Why do you do this? So I click to see that one comment. But as I click some other content loads causing the page to lurch up or down causing me to click on the name of one of the people who left a comment so I end up on their Facebook page. Now if I go back to my feed everything is different and I can never ever find the comments that I was trying to read. By that point I've expended more time that I wanted to. Meaning that the comments aren't worth reading now even if I could find them. I was just trying to pass some time. Not turn it into some sort of ordeal. I wear nitrile gloves at work and putting them on is a pain when my hands are sweaty or damp at all. I can't get my fingers inside and the nitrile clings and twists and it feels awful. I used to carry a battery powered fan and use it to blow dry my sweaty hands between glove changes. Adds one of seven. An error occurred. This video cannot be played. Please refresh. When someone opens my door, comes into my room for a few seconds and then leave the damn door open. Sure I could get up and close it, but I did that last time you came in, and the time before. My mum did that all the time. Then she would get angry at me for yelling at her if I asked with a slightly louder voice for her to close it. Dude I live in a garage at my house. My family member will sometimes just open up the ducking garage door and leave it open and walk off. I'm like dude, I don't want the whole neighborhood seeing me, laying there, in my bed, half naked. Shut the duck eye door, and don't gap that hit either. I think they trying to tell you something bro. When I grab a hanger in my closet and 46 other hangers come with it no matter how organized it was. When the part of the song I want to hear is interrupted with navigation directions. And it's always in 57 kilometers keep going straight. Walking through the city late at night after work, when I'm crossing a side street near the train station. Taxis will inevitably see me coming and pull up right in front of me so I have to walk around the back of them. Every single night, I tried a different route but it's longer. I tried waving them off, but they just come quicker. I tried running so I can get there before they block my path but they just accelerate. I think the only solution is to run up and do a hood slide. My earbuds being caught by their cord behind something and then getting yanked out of my ears. Infuriating. How about when you put your earbuds in your pocket and when you take them out it looks like you spent at least 10 minutes tying them in knots. How in the hell does that happen? For real, my pocket is better at boy scouts than I was. Place scanned item in bagging area. Places scanned item in bagging area. Remove unscanned item from bagging area. 
getting all comfortable in bed, well positioned and everything, then realizing you forgot something in the living room kitchen and having to get up and get it, edit, spelling, edit too, thanks for the slivers. Those times where you're just starting to drift off and that slight urge to pee hits, you have two options, wake back up now and go to the bathroom, or fall asleep and wake up in 2 hours feeling like your bladder is about to explode. I usually take the first option but sometimes you're just so damn tired. The last thing you want to do is get up. When two people in a shop stop, trolleys side by side and block the entire aisle just to have a conversation. Excuse me. Death glares from both of them. Duckers. You're the ones blocking the aisle. Go park your cart somewhere else and talk flies landing and walking on my skin. One of the most annoying things emo. When my bluetooth doesn't connect in the car, it makes me want to stab my phone even though it's not a big deal at all and has zero effect on my life. Enter password. Your password is incorrect. Request password reset. Enter what you want it to be. You cannot use your current password as your new password. Try to use that password. Your password is incorrect. Computer flies out window. When someone goes to shower bathroom right as you were about to, you need to announce your intention some time in advance. Not enough time for them to use up though. Me. I'm gonna shower wait 3 hours someone else showers me. Cunt. Stop lights feel timed so that if you go in one direction for a few miles and you have to stop at a red light, chances are you will have to stop at all the red lights in that direction. They're timed the opposite in San Francisco. So you can drive down Lombard across half the city with no reds. Problem is, you can only ever do that in the early morning. Because otherwise there's so much traffic it ducks it up anyway. When people stare at you while eating. I don't like people talking to me while I eat if they aren't eating as well. It this weird? Having to untie my shoes to put them on. I always try to just slip my foot in but then I crush that part at the back and duck up the shoe. I'm most comfortable in sneakers but the slip on ones don't look as nice colon. Oblivious drivers. Not ones texting. They know they're being an ass. I'm talking about those people who honestly have no ducking clue how to drive properly. Yet totally think they're good at it. Leaves me fuming. Especially when they're putting other people's lives in danger. Breaking a nail, which is horrible on its own already, and not having a nail file with me to fix the jagged edges so it keeps getting caught on things. ATM fees, I will walk to another one, even if it's ages away just to avoid paying a fee even if I'm wildly inconvenienced in the process. But yes I know it's petty. My bank refunds all ATM fees. Those ducking mobile game ads on YouTube, they're also insufferable quality. Drivers who don't indicate when changing lanes. It doesn't even take a second. Socks that are too loose. Especially at the ankles. Sweating. I hate sweating so much. I just feel incredibly gross. Also, that feeling when you wear ankle socks and the elastic is too loose. And you can feel the sock sliding down your foot. Ugh. Biting my lip then having to avoid the sore for the next week while I eat. Even worse. Biting an already bitten lip. Washing your face in the bathroom sink and the water trickling down your arms towards your elbows. Bonus fury if you're wearing a sweater and get the sleeves wet to remind you of your stupid mistake for hours to come. Slow walkers on sidewalks just move the duck out of the way. Amendment. I'm speaking about the PPL that are in the way not just slow but the ones you can't get past after an attempt or two or that just flat out make it impossible to go around. In similar regard, people who stop walking as soon as they reach the bottom or top of a set of stairs. The same but for escalators is even worse. People in the passing lane who match speeds with a car next to them, rather than, idk, ducking past them, as intended, edit, tie for gold and silver. People in the slow lane that speed up when someone is attempting to pass them. Hate em. Every single one. Intros on YouTube videos, like get the point, I don't need you to read the product label or tell me what you were thinking in Target when you purchased it. The AC makes me freeze despite it being hot as the devil's nutsack outside. Apparently I am the exact height to have my pockets get caught on my drawers in the kitchen. I swear my basketball shorts will reach for the drawer handles and grab them. Makes me see red. Edit. 
wow this blew up. I won't feel quite as angry now that I know all of reddit has this issue. Unskippable mid vid ads in YouTube and in, um, other YouTube like sites. When my laptop runs out of battery just as a plug the charger in. Craving a specific type of food, arranging to get that specific food, something going wrong along the way and not having access to it. Ugh, edit. Chick-fil-A has been commented 10 plus times. Much trend. Being sick. Craving a specific type of food. Arranging delivery for that specific food. Delivery comes and they forget the one thing out of your order that made you choose that Chinese restaurant. I want my ducking sesame balls okay. Google putting two ducking ads on YouTube now. Then these duckers think they're slick by making them exactly 5 seconds long so you can't skip them. Thinking to myself oh, I need to google that later, but then, later when I have time to google, I can't think of that super interesting thing I was going to google. Sometimes my xbox controller will desync and I have to get up, walk 4 feet, and manually push the buttons to reset it. After a hard day's work you might as well be asking me to drag a cinder block 3 miles uphill. After swearing I'll sit there and consider how bad I actually want to play xbox today. Same thing with the tv remote. Seems the more tired I am, the more apt it is to be across the room for some reason. I swear my appliances teleport when I sit down. Having to scroll 5 pages to get to the recipe. Yeah okay I get it. You lost your virginity on a warm spring day and then ate this salad. Get to the point. Why are hot pockets not already in the cardboard crisping sleeve? I'm not ducking Gordon Ramsay over here. That small pimple below your nose but above your lips. When people driving on the highway see a cop sitting off the side of the road ahead, watching for speeders, and slow down to like 15 under the speed limit, like you know that's also impeding the flow of traffic. Realizing your phone charger wasn't plugged in properly before going to bed. Now I have to take a full hour sitting around in the morning waiting for it to charge? Get ducked. People not clearing the time left on a microwave. Balsack stuck to legs. On a hot day. Sweaty a chic sliding between each other making you wonder if that last fart was a follow through. Addition the dishwasher not being clean because another was up against it due to some duck with not loading it properly. When the filter in my coffee pot folds and during brewing, ugh. Hosting a beating at work, but you've drunk too much water? That feeling of needing to get to the toilet but you have the rest of the presentation to go through. That sucks. So yeah, needing to piss whilst giving a presentation. People who use their phone's flashlight as a notification LED. Damn I hate them. Wait that's a thing? Toilet seats moving around when you sit on them. People eating loudly. On that same note. People who eat while in a voice channel with people and don't mute themselves. Eating loudly. Breathing loudly. Living loudly. It's all terrible. USB sticks cords. I objectively know that it can't be true. But it seems they never face the right way in the first attempt to use them. Auto playing trailers on Netflix. Falling asleep with my glasses on and not having them on when I wake up. I have to move like a crazy slow ninja until I find them lest I break them. Usually they are tangled up in the bed sheets but once I found them in the bathroom. Thanks for watching mate. Make sure to smash that like button for more high quality content.